Welcome back to my today's tutorial. In our today's class, we will be treating on how to export a CAD file to Twin Motion and how to render using Twin Motion. This is kind of a sketch building tech workshop practice. So I will quickly show you guys on how to export this to Twin Motion for rendering. Um, I will advise you for Twin Motion users, you should install. You should get live sync. Live sync will help you. You know, when you export your work to Twin Motion and you want to edit something in Akeka, you want to correct something, live sync will help you. You come to Akeka after abandoning the stuff, you quickly switch to your Twin Motion and direct link it. This is actually my rendered work. But I will start a fresh one to show you the step by step way of rendering a work. This is my rendered work. Okay, so um, for us to proceed, as you can see, you have seen the rendered work. For us to proceed, I have to delete this particular file and open a new file. Open. Okay, let's just cancel this. Let's cancel this. Let's open the first stream motion. This is the entrance. Working area. Okay, I'll first of all, you open your stream motion. Once you open your stream motion, go to stream motion direct link. This Linking. Then I come to Steam Motion. You will see is this same project? You will see new project. Click on new project. Click on OK. The work will automatically go up. Good. But you will notice something, eh? As you can see, this work in my archicad I added um. Caps I added mesh, but in my three motion it is not reflecting. Someone might ask me what could be the problem because your land went higher. So you click on this landscape here, click on this landscape there. Yeah, yeah, this is the arrow to control it. This is the arrow, this is the arrow you can zoom in and the black arrow, drag it down easily. Drag it down as you can see. This is our work. So you have done it. So the next thing you do now, uh, there are different ways. Uh, let me just show you the um around effect on this stream motion. If you click on this under your preference, if you're using a low system, low low graphic system, you know, stream motion sometimes lacks system, hang system. If you're using a low system, you can come to quality and put it in low or medium. So that it will be easy to roll to access, you know. Then after your um, editing uh, amendment, then you come back here, change your preference, quality, edit an ultra. This ultra will make your work so clean. But sometimes when it's an ultra and you are rendering, it will be kind of lagging. If you're using a low system, or, but if you're using up to four gig dedicated, you are good to go. You can. Um, actually leave it here and see what you're doing. So for us to do, uh, if you don't want to change any material in Akekal and you want to maintain, if you don't want to change any material in two motion, you want to maintain Akekal material, for instance, my roof, I'm not changing it. Pick, click on pick, paste, 
on the roof okay this is the reflection you can reduce it reduce it um my color let's increase it to see the outcome then come to settings metallicness yeah you can increase it just you can play around it you can see what is giving you this metallicness it shows how real the material will look and go back let's see, change our color let's change our color You just play around it to make sure this is the test to what you want. Also, this um, click on this. You can actually change it to black. And this is a reflection. onto metallicness Okay, you are done. And for instance, I want to also maintain this color. This my pillar. I want to maintain the color and and too much. I don't want to change it. Click on this. Click on the color. This is my wall. This is a wall material, so it doesn't need to reflect. This is a reflection light. Increase the scale. As you can see. You you notice a difference. If you, okay, increase the scale very well. As you can see, it's, it's much. So you can just reduce. This is okay. Then on color. Click on your color. Click back. Click down. Okay. Then go to your metallicness. And increase it small. Yes. So this is what I want. So um, let us say I want to change all art material in this building tech workshop practice. Click on this. These are your materials. These are four major um libraries. You have materials. You have furniture, lights, characters, vehicle, volume. I will show you. Click on material. What materials you have? Glass. Um, I actually want to leave this to be transparent. This. So um, let us add um, reflect on a window. Click on glass. We have different glass. You can use reflection, reflective glass. Click on this. This is opacity. You see it? A choice. This is the metallicness. This is a, you can change your color here. If you want to, if you want to tint the glass, you can take it back. This are my window. This you can actually make it to be white. You can click on it. Click on it. You can just change it to be white. Well, I prefer using black. So it all depends on choice, and I. Prefer using kind of light window color depending based on my design on my design. So all of these depends. Then this is my blackstone marble. 
I actually want to maintain this. I don't want to change it using Team Motion. You can click on this and and work on it. So marble black. You click on this, raise it to the highest white. Come to settings, increase this for it to look more real. You go back, increase your reflection light. You can increase your scale or small. You can reduce the color. So it to be dim, it to be dim. Not your metallicness, increase it. Okay. You can then increase the color. That is just all about choice. As you can see. Um hotness. Um let us add let us add light. Okay, before we do that, let us just add the door. Uh, let's place a uh, door. This is wood. You can select any material you want, drag and place. Place. Then you come to color. Increase. You can increase the scale. Or uh, you can actually use a different material. You can use, I prefer using this material. Increase. This looks more real. Okay, this is the, um, you can actually change this too. Okay, let's add, let's add our lights using neon material. This under, under um, material, you know, under material, you see, under your material, you see a glass, stone, ties, ground. Let's add our neon light. Um, you can use this. You can use this. Reduce the speed, increase the glow. Two sided you can on it. Then under your color, this is where you regulate the kind of color you want. Light or white or blue. Get this it. So your light frame. You can actually change it using um, metal. You can use this. Change it. You can use the reflection. That's increase it. Oh, your choice. Okay, so let us change this building check using plastic. Using plastic. You find a plastic here. As you can see, you can just use anything, you can just use any material. Crazy scale. So if you don't want to maintain your, uh, if you don't want to change grass in Team Motion, though Team Motion is more real, but I'm trying to maintain mostly acrylic materials. Pick, place your, click on the grass, you can increase the scale. You can also. Yeah, let's change, let's change our landscape, our ground. This is grand. 
this is nature let's let's go for one minute you select this is all choice design is all about choice it's all about choice and what suits the kind of design aspiring to achieve you click on this you can increase the scale you can reduce the reflection come to metallicness you can increase this more you go back check the color okay it is coming it's coming out small a bit then this glass this like a glass i can maintain it to so just click on it uh opacity as you can see you can see so bring it down i want it to be transparent so you can see the work metallicness if you reduce this you see the difference so increase it Let, let's add our ceiling so i will make a complete video on how to how to render with twin motion i think i will end somewhere and i will make it part a and part b i'll continue in my other class click look for ceiling materials okay click on ceiling you see different ceiling design okay let's use this can increase the scale and reduce the reflection and let's change our print color because this is a card print color so you oh my back is low under materials you will see your wall you will see your wall problem you can place this and of this increase the color and use the reflection increase the scale so in our next class i'll continue this is you just walk around your little two motion it will give you end product this is how to render with two motion as well as work in our next class i promise to continue from where i stop thank you